اهدنا الصراط المستقيم يا ايها الانسان انك كادح الى ربك كدحا فملاقيه او oh مان You are one who is toiling towards your Lord. You are putting effort into going towards your Lord laboriously. Kadhan. Famulaqih. Now again, we can translate this in different ways. We can say, so you will meet him. But again, if you look at the word there, mulaqi is not a verb. It's not saying that you're going to do this later. It's not even saying that you're doing it now. In a verb form, such that you're not going to do it later or you haven't done it in the past. Once again, like a raji'oon, mulaqih is in a noun form. Meaning that it is a natural thing for us that is happening all the time. And so, even though Allah is the goal and He is infinite, it doesn't mean we won't reach Him because we are actually reaching Him at every point that we are moving on this path. True, the intensity that we meet him with varies depending on how far we are on that path. The further we go on that path, the higher that the, the higher the level of that mulaqat with Allah, that reaching Allah. But even if we are still at the beginning of the path, at every moment he is creating us, he is guiding us, and we are returning to him and we are meeting him. At every point. So yes, he is infinite. But that means he is there all the way. Now if we take this one step further, what does that mean? That means that we are not actually alone on the journey. وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُولَنَا As for those who strive in us, we shall surely guide them in our ways. We've done this verse. And we've also mentioned that this hidayah is the second type of hidayah. It is not where Allah tells us, okay, now this is the way, off you go. No. He is holding our hand and He is taking our steps one by one so that we can reach Him and we are meeting Him at every point because He is there along with us. So Allah is not just the start, He is not just the end, but He is also our companion on the journey. We have this general companionship of Allah. وَهُوَ مَعَكُمْ أَيْنَ مَا كُنْتُمْ Wherever we go, Allah is there. Allah is manifesting Himself in every aspect of our life, wherever we are and whenever we are. And this is the equivalent of that general guidance. رَبُّنَا الَّذِي أَعْطَى كُلَّ شَيْءٍ خَلْقَهُ ثُمَّ هَدَى Can you see? كُلَّ شَيْءٍ Our Lord is He who gave everything its creation and then guided it. So everything is exposed to the guidance of Allah in that general way. But we know that there was a more specific guidance. In the same way, there is this more specific companionship of Allah. إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ اتَّقَوْا وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ محسنون. Indeed, Allah is with those who are God-weary and those who are virtuous, those who perform good deeds. This is now reflecting the specific guidance that we are asking for in Ihdina Sarat al Mustaqim. So Allah is the beginning, Allah is the end, and Allah is our companion on that journey so long as we are trying to traverse that path through our free will, Allah is going to keep guiding us on that way.